Giovanni, take one. A mark. My name is Giovanni Forlan, and I grew up in Brazil, in Joinville, Santa Catarina, my hometown. I started dancing when I was 11 years old. My grandmother knew that this ballet school from my hometown was, um, they were doing a test to see, you know, to find new talent. And she was like, you know, you love dancing, why don't you just try out? So she was, she gave me the little push to start. The most memorable performance I had as a child, it was when I was 14. Uh, Baryshnikov came to Brazil, and my city has this like big dance festival, and he was performing in the, on, in the opening night. And one of the dancers got injured, so he had come to my school for us to do like a welcome performance. And then Baryshnikov invited me and two other girls to be a part of his show that night. And it was crazy, because I was like this like 14-year-old little kid dancing next to Baryshnikov, you know? I think what surprised me the most is the amount of work that we do here in New York City Ballet. It's whatever you're performing in the evening, sometimes you're not even like touching that during the day. You're learning all other things, you're like being choreographed on, you have like a workshop to teach or something, um, and then in the evening you just have to like put on the show and that was very shocking for me. It's taking some time to adjust. I feel like just now I'm getting my groove with that. I listen to a lot of music. I constantly have my headphones on. Lately, I've been like really into like teenage angst, like breakup songs and, you know, lyrics really speak to me. Of course, I love listening to the melody, but like I feel like musical artists have this way of putting um, feelings into words that I could never do it myself. So when I listen to it, I'm like, that's exactly how I feel. And I could never put it into words, but I'm so glad this person did it for me. So. Yeah, I sing along a lot. I'm not a good singer, but I'll sing along all day. <laughs> Guilty pleasure. I do love sugar. I eat a lot of ice cream. I could have a pint like every night. Like it, it says four servings. I'm like, for who? This is one serving for me. I think what I l love about living in New York is like having seasons. I mean, coming from Brazil, we really don't get a lot of seasons there. And then living in Miami for nine years where it's like either it's summer or is it like super summer. So I love having this, you know, change of like how you dress and the things you do and like how you spend your free time, like depending on the weather. Uh, I really love that. And my least favorite thing about New York, I think it's like, it's dirty. It's pretty dirty, you know, depending where you are. It's a lot of trash on the street, a lot of rats. Whenever I go to throw the trash out, I have this fear that a raccoon will jump at me. Like, so whenever I open the lid, I'm always like, please, no raccoons, nothing. It felt a little unreal definitely to join New York City Ballet, you know, at a later stage in my life without being at the School of American Ballet. I remember it very well because it wasn't that long ago when I joined New York City Ballet. So uh, I got a call. I was in my bathtub actually, and I got a call from Justin Pack saying that I got the job and I think he heard the water like trickling and he was like, are you in the tub right now? And I was like, yes, I am. It was just a very happy moment. And at the same time, I was very relaxed, you know, because I was in a tub. <laughs>